na Yan ang liga ng bawat Pilipino Sa Luzon, sa Pisaya, sa Mindanao Sa Luzon, sa Pisaya, sa Mindanao MPBL, Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League May labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao Basketball na Ang bawat labay tinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat Sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na! MPBL na! Yan ang ng bawat Pilipino Sa Luzon, sa Pisaya, sa Mindanao Kakakaba Dahil sa husay ng bawat isa Sigawan na yumayanig Kapag nag 3 points na Bawat bayay di ba tatalo Buong barangay ay suportado Kahit ano ang mangyari Sama-sama tayo Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na Ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na! MPBL na! Yan ang liga ng bawat Pilipino Sa Luzon, sa Pisaya, sa Pindana Liga Pilipinas Basketball League Ang bawat bayan ay sumasaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao Basketball na Ang bawat labay tinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang pakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat Sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na! MPBL na! Yan ang liga ng bawat Pilipino Sa Luzon, sa Pisaya, sa Mindanao Ang liga ng bawat Pilipinas
Dahil sa husay ng bawat isa Sigawan na yung mayanig Kapag nag 3 points na Bawat bayay di ba tatalo Buong barangay ay suportado Kahit ano ang mangyari Sama-sama tayo Liga Pilipinas Basketball League Ang bawat bayan ay sumasaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Basketball na Ang bawat labay di naghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na! MPBL na! Yan ang liga ng bawat Pilipino Sa Luzon, sa Visaya, sa Mindanao Ay nakakakaba Dahil sa husay ng bawat isa Sigawan na yung mayanig Kapag nag 3 points na Bawat bayay di ba tatalo Buong barangay ay suportado Kahit ano ang mangyari Sama-sama tayo Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang Sports ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na! MPBL na! Yan ang liga ng bawat Pilipino Sa Luzon, sa Visaya, sa Mindanao Harliga Pilipinas Basketball League Kapag may labay nagkakaisa 
Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, basketball na. Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan, kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan. Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kubunan. Sa'y ng bawat isa Sigawan na yung mayanig Kapag nag 3 points na Bawat bayay di ba tatalo Buong barangay ay suportado Kahit ano ang mangyari Sama-sama tayo Harliga Pilipinas Basketball League Ang bawat bayan ay sumasaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na! MPBL na! Yan ang liga ng bawat Pilipino Sa Luzon, sa Visaya, sa Mindanao Porter and uh, James Hena as well as Philip Banyamogan but unfortunately Sena and Banyamogan will not be seeing action yet today. Sa Bulacan naman, this is a totally different squad from last year. It's actually more of the Mindoro core that were that will be playing under Coach Pats Reyes para sa Bulacan this year. Uh, Batangas uh, coming up short in the South Division uh, Finals and uh, they went uh, to the South Division Finals and lost to Bacor but they finished second in the South Division beat Imos in two hard-fought games and number three, Jensen, in um, three exciting games in the semifinals, but lost to Bacor, they got swept 2-0. That's the second straight time uh, that they lost in the South Division Finals the previous year. They lost to Zamboanga. And here you look at their lineup. We mentioned earlier, same core, but loading up with three ex-BBA players. And uh, Coach Cholo Villanueva, I asked him during the preseason tournament, 
it, uh, he really is going to stick with this lineup still, despite the aging roster that they have. He said he will stick with this lineup until the wheels fall off. <laughs> Verbatim. Oh, oh, ganun, ganun talaga eh. You know, you, know you, you value loyalty, you value the commitment, and syempre, yung, yung camaraderie cohesion of this team, hindi mo na uh, question because they've been together for a long time. And speaking of Bulacan, they were together last season as uh, the core of Mindoro, as you mentioned. But nagdagdag sila dito. They added uh, a defensive linchpin in uh, Nino Ibanez coming from Laguna. 7-21 and ang kanilang record. They actually got off to a really good start last season until uh, medyo hindi maganda ang tapos nila. Paolo Hubalde leading this squad for this season. He will captain this team that also has guys like Lawrence Valiari, Jason Celis. Kojak Melegrito will be among the veterans in the return of homegrown Jovit De La Cruz. But uh, Jovit will, I think, is still uh, uh, nursing an injury. But we will be seeing him this year playing for Bulacan once again. Well, siyempre, Bulacan looking to prove uh, uh, that they can uh, contend this season. Paolo Hubalde, the veteran will be leading the squad. Let's go to Richard Tampos for our starting lineup. Hello everyone. We are welcoming you once again here at the Alonte Sports Arena. This is the 2024 Buenas Manny Pacquiao's MPBL Season 6 presented by Extreme. It's Batangas versus Bulacan. Live on FB page, Maharlika Filipinas Basketball League YouTube channel, MPTV Signal Channel 98, MPTV Channel 53 Satellite, and Filipinas Live app. Here are the starters. Let's begin with the MPBL inaugural season Anta Raha Cup champion, Batangas City Tantuay Ram Masters. At forward number 15, Don Ochea. The other forward number 23, Zed Ablaza. Center number 43, Jexter Apinan. At guard number 37, JC Asuncion. Also at guard number 31, MJ De La Vergen. Their head coach is Cholo Villanueva. His assistants are J.R. Aquino, John Arenas, Warren Capitan, and Dino Ponce and Rile. Team manager, Gina Labanza. Team owner, Lucio Tan III. LGU partner is assistant team manager, Gilbert Alea. Now, starting for Bulacan, Kuyas. At forward number 35, J.C. Karandang. Also at forward number 16, Coco Tanshoko. Guard number one, Nino Ibanez. Also at guard number zero, the Aquaman, Paulo Hubalde. Coming in at center number 24, Kristen Big, 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 Big Boy Hernandez. Their head coach is Jonathan Pads Reyes. His assistants are Joey Dada and Danilo Ramirez. Team manager, Justin Dada. The game officials are Carol Dewey. Starting five presented by Buenas. MJ De La Vergen, JC Asuncion, Jexter Apinan, Set Ablasa, and Don Ochea para sa Batangas City, Tanduay Rum Masters. Paulo Hobalde, Nino Ibanez, Cristian Hernandez, Francisco Tanshok and JC Karandang for the Bulacan Puyas. A uh, couple of new faces here para sa Bulacan. We have Karandang and Tanshok joining Pubalde Hernandez and Nino Ibanez who is coming over from Laguna. Karandang fires the three. That's short. As uh, Bulacan uh, getting the first possession here. Ibanez. Hernandez back to Ibanez. Ibanez for three. Too strong. And Seda Blasa collects the rebound. And uh, Seda Blasa now starting the season with Ratanga City. I think big factor din yan. No? Only played in the postseason. It was Seda Blasa. That uh, was a big loss para sa kanila last year. Especially because he was the leading scorer for them. The season previous to that, and that's why it kind of struggled to rack up 
four wins, although they did have good seeding still going into the playoff, but still, you know, losing your leading score, still a big thing if you're Coach Solo Villanueva. Robalde, trapped. Ibanez lost the handle. Great defense there from uh, the Rum Masters, forcing the turnover. Uh, this is what you expect coming from Batangas. Every Coach Solo Villanueva squad will always be a team that will play heavy pressure defense. Of course, being a former player of Coach Franz Pumarin, he has inculcated some of those principles into his coaching style. And in this one, uh, MJ De La Virgen, now the starting point guard. Uh, na sa lineup ng Batangas si Rudy Linganay. He's been there for the longest time, ito si uh, Rudy. And I believe he will be playing for Mindoro this year. I did see him on the roster, but he did not see absent yet a couple of days ago as Ablaza scores on the break. 5 to nothing start here for Batangas. Apinan with a steal. He loses his footing though. Ubalde. Gets it to Hernandez. Jumper won't work. And Shoko. And you know, uh, uh, foul dito. Yeah. Obvious push from behind. Coming from Francis Shoko. It'll be up to Paulo Hubalde to really organize this offense for Bulacan. So far, not much order yet. Although they did have a good shot in that last possession coming from Cristian Hernandez, who seems to be in great shape oh, oh. to start this year. Mukhang maaga na condition si Cristian uh, Hernandez. De La Vergen, one-hander, won't drop. And Shoko ahead to Paulo Hubalde. Ibanez on the trailer. Three-pointer, wala. Apinan and Hernandez battling for it, and Hernandez flexes on him. Despite two defenders on him trying to box him out, he still gets the rebound, powers through for those two points. Ubalde quickly to Karandang, who will lay it in for two. Say all you want about Paulo Ubalde going up in age, but the vision and the touch uh, in the game will never be lost para sa kanya. I think another great pass in transition. He always has his head up. Ito si uh, uh, Paulo Obalde. De La Verhen is open. MJ De La Verhen knocks down the jumper. Oh, intriguing matchup at uh, the point guard spot. Here at the start of this game, Obalde versus De La Verhen, but it's actually Asuncion who's guarding Paulo Obalde on defense. But young and old at that one spot to start this game. Tarandang, too strong on the three. Inside they go. Dono Che is off to a really good start as well. Patient basketball for Don Ochea. Did not force it right away. One fake, spun, and then a pivot. Eventually getting those two points. Seems to be really in control here to start the game, Batangas. The fast break of the game is brought to you by New Star Max. A win to the max. Bulacan calls timeout. Don Ochea, really steady at that uh, position para sa Batangas City. We'll be right back.
papanood nyo ang MPBL on MPTV Signal Channel 98 and of course sa Team Facebook and Team YouTube natin sa mga kaibigan na nanonood uh, Mr. Longbomb Harmsui galing sa kaya Roy Kayana na pabate as uh, Tanshoko knocks down the triple 9-7 Great play coming out of the timeout there by Bulacan. A setup for Tanshoko, top of the circle. Good screen set by the Kuyas. Ablasa, Asuncion. Puts the ball on the deck, gets away. Nice pass, Asuncion to Ablasa. They really don't seem to be rattled. Everybody on the floor here for Batangas. This year, Asuncion look like he was going nowhere with that possession. The last moment got that emergency pass to Oblaza. Ibanez, nice looking stroke. You mentioned that he was a uh, defensive linchpin. Well, Lino Ibanez can also score the basketball when given the opportunity. I think here playing for Bulacan, Coach Badres will be giving him that green light to shoot. This time, uh, Mejo, he will be relieved of playmaking duties because Paulo Hobalde is there. Ochea wins the rebounding battle. The kick out, De La Vergen, short. Another opportunity here. De La Vergen finds Asuncion from the corner. Short again. Ablasa inside. There's a foul on Maliari. Well, Maliari was already outside and was late going in. Did not have the opportunity to block out Seda Blaza. Nobody coming to block out to help Maliari in uh, preventing Ablaza with that rebound. We are also live on 1PH. Two free throws, Set Ablaza at the line. Free throw is uh, brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. Ang subok at kompletong brand appliance ng Pilipinas. Nino Ebanez, nagdadala ng bola for Bulacan. 13 to 10 ang ating score. So Balde, asking for a pick from Maliari. Maliari gets it back. Turnover. Napinan. Nahanap si De La Vergen. Napinan. Blocked by Maliari. Here's De La Vergen. Asuncion from the corner. No. Good box out from Paulo Valdez. Maliari secures the board. Could have been a fast break opportunity right there for Bulacan Maliari, failing to get it out to Nino Ibanez, who was already leaking out. Could have been easy, an easy two points. And Shoko with a jumper. Wala. Apinan with another rebound. It seems that Shoko being given a lot of place here by Coach Bats Reyes to start this game. A bit of her hand, like another miss. 325 remaining. Hindi pa nagpapalit ng uh, starting five dito ang uh, Matangas. Banyas misses on the three. Ablasa with another rebound. That's his fourth of the ball game. Set puts the ball on the deck, runs into traffic. And a foul whistled against the Kuyas as we turn you over to Andre Talking about starting early, so far sa lahat ng narinig ko, pinakamaaga na yatang nag-start ng ensayo itong grupo ni Coach Bud Reyes. October pa lang daw, back to business na sila. Although AJ Miranda have already departed the squad, he said he sees AJ in Nino Ibanez. Pareho daw sila ng galawan. Aside from Ibanez, he's also expecting these boys to be their main men. Tanshoko, Big Boy Hernandez, Hubalde, Montero, and Karandang. Nonetheless, sabi ni Coach Bud, mas marami pa rin daw sa kanila ang hindi superstars. Actually, Ayaw niya nga daw ng superstar. Mas gusto niya siya yung gumagawa ng superstar. Back to you guys. Salamat, uh, Andrea. So, 
hindi natin na nakalimutan natin AJ Miranda pala yung uh, no who was their a key piece to their season last year na talaga nagpakitang gilas especially nung wala pa si Paolo Hobalde laking bagay ni AJ Miranda yeah that's correct uh, AJ Miranda really his star rose to fame early in the season when they were still playing for Mendolo well, Coach Bajre is really giving him a lot of opportunity and in turn when AJ played in the NCAA he really terrorized the defense of the opposing squads Hobalde step back three nope Porter in the ball game for the first time Hernandez that's last touch on him. Our boy Paulo Balde still continues to be in great shape. Still seems to hope better than most of the younger players that we have here in the league. That's just a testament to how well he's been taking care of his body throughout the years. Ramirez, Hernandez. That's Levy Hernandez. Kusama niya si King Importante. Hernandez steps into that three and knocks it down. Right off the bench, Levy Hernandez doesn't need a lot of time to heat up. And what that first shot goes, the opposing team has to be careful. He's quite the streaky shooter. Robaldez splits the D. Finds Arandang, na ubusan na ng oras. Pwede na yun eh. Pwede yeah. na itira yung kanina. Uh, Obalde choosing to uh, pass it off after a great split of the defense. Lucky fan of the game is brought to you by Buenas. Going to to Asina. Kasi nga, nakasuit itong uh, Batangas City, the Dwy Rum Masters. Porter, the fadeaway. Yes! Happy, happy to see Chris Porter back in professional basketball. Former Enlex Road Warrior in the BBA. Uh, interesting to see how well he fits into the system of Coach Solo Villanueva. Obalde. Pinabatay ni Arim. Paolo. To Nino Ebanez. Too strong on the three. Agawan sa rebound. Ends up with King Importante. Quickly to Arim. Fires a three. Short rebound. Baltasar. Now come the Bulacan Puyas. Ebanez. Will attack. Ebanez draws the foul on Importante. Excellent read on the defense right there by Ibanez on the transition play. Defense suddenly set up by Batangas, deciding to go one-on-one. -on -one. A little head and shoulder fake, the hesitation. And then draws the contact as he goes for the shot. Nineteen to eleven. Uh, Batangas, pero Nino Ibanez looking to change that. The first trip at the line para sa Bulacan Kuyas and he goes two for two. And Shoko and uh, Joshua, Montero Joshua Montero for the first time in the ball game. Importante. RJ Ramirez, they go to Porter. Nice matchup with Hernandez. Porter fading away and gives Hernandez the look. Uh, he's always had that great soft touch. He loves those fadeaway jumpers. He's been practicing that. And he's been making that since we were in high school. Garantang. Lutan Shoko. Well, if Chris Porter will be knocking down jumpers, that Shoko. Knocking down two outside shots already in this game for Bulacan. Arim, back out to Importante. RJ Ramirez, time winding down. And uh, that will do it. The first half, uh, first quarter action coming to a close. Tito's uh, Alonte Sports Arena in Binyan. Tanga City with a six point lead. Because a place like this. 
Zenda Blasa at seven points in the period. Leading all scorers. Levy Hernandez off the bench, ready to pull the trigger. There's Porter as well, making an impact early on. 21 to 15, this is our end of first quarter score, brought to you by GameX. Levy Hernandez, and a certified gunner para sa Batanga City Tanduay Rum Masters. Alongside uh, Jong Baloria, who's uh, not suited up for this ball game. I think he's serving a suspension. Yeah, coming from that uh, preseason tournament where he was thrown out. Five on the floor for Batangas, Arim. Ramirez, uh, Porter, Importante, Hernandez, and... Uh, oh, that's it. Ooh. There's a foul. Pagtanggap ni Porter, parang malapit na nakapula sa kanya. And, and this is surprising. Napaganda pa eh. Yeah. Considering Andrea reported that Bulacan has already started practicing in October, it seems that there's still a lot to work on. A lot of miscommunication defensively. Not looking very sharp on offense. Uh, let's see if uh, as this game progresses, how can they how they can adjust? Montero. This is the Hernandez pick. Garandang. He will fire. No. Nope. Hernandez quickly to importante. Langani yung pasa. Garandang with a steal. Runs into Porter. No good. There's a foul on Hernandez. Could have been uh, put back. Para dun kay Karandang. He was ready to get that offensive rebound off his missed shot. But Hernandez a little bit too aggressive. Could not control his momentum as he himself was trying to go for an offensive rebound. Hernandez missing on the three. Rebound ni Karandang. Bozak Milligrito getting set to uh, come into the ball game para sa Bulacan. 21 to 15, under nine minutes remaining. Here in the second period, Hernandez puts it in for two. What he's proven from last year is that he has really great hands catching that basketball, getting passes from guys like Paulo Valde. Finish off those two points. They get the stop, Bulacan. Montero under pressure. Baltasar has it. Baltasar to Karandang, thought about it. Plenty of time in the shot clock. And Shoko, no. Porter with the rebound. Ramirez uses the Porter pick. Ramirez, jumper is good. Jumper converted by RJ Ramirez, but give credit to Chris Porter for setting an excellent screen. He just covers so much space. Montero. Oh, it's Baltasar, rather. Back to Montero. Shot clock down to one, and... Just a lack of awareness on that one. 
Yeah, not a lot of movement off the ball right there. Just a lot of handoffs on top, but not really happening. Play of the game is brought to you by Buenas. Hernandez scores underneath. That is a pass on uh, John Baltazar. Ramirez, top of the key. Hernandez finds Porter rolling to the basket. There's a foul on Tanshoko as Importante went up for that shot. Well, Batanga still continues to look like a well-oiled machine. They have been throughout the years here in the MPBL under the watch of Coach Cholo Villanueva. Importante has been one of the vital cogs of the rotation playing point forward for Batanga City. Yun lang ang masisigurado mo talaga na they, they know what to do when they have that basketball. Itong uh, Batanga City, uh, just a well-coached team. And I think that's also the reason why Coach Tolo still didn't want to get a lot of new players for this year. He still trusts that familiarity and the chemistry that they developed over the years will pull them through and maybe get them past the hub, which was the South Division Championship. Obalde, crossover. Arim staying with him. The turnaround shot, Paolo Obalde. <laughs> and he makes Sony Larim know. Great move on uh, the one on one by Paolo Obalde. Still one of the best guards here in the league. Hernandez. Porter will fire. Short. Ibanez probing. Goes baseline, drops it off to Milligrito. Lost the handle. Labas muna kay Paolo Obalde. A lot of time in the shot clock. Obalde against RJ Ramirez. Ibanez is free. Three pointer. Wala. Arim with a rebound and a foul on uh, Milligrito. Uh, even with a missed shot, still a good possession para sa Bulacan. At least there was much better spacing offensively. There was a side ball screen involving uh, Paolo Hubalde and Keno Sikos. Uh, Hubalde realizing that Ibanez was open on the left for that open three-point shot. Gave it up even before going through the screen. Now with Lenore, pinasok na sa Batangas. And Keno Sikos also on the floor. And RJ Ramirez sticking that follow through in. Alam mo talaga yun, pag dumikit yung follow through, shoot it. And you know, Chris Porter, I've been trying to ask if he can fit well into the system of Coach Solo Villanueva. So far, so good. Oh, Osikos, yes. He's really funny from that range. The perimeter game of Ken Osikos has been consistent playing for Mindoro those past couple of years and now under this new team, the Bulacan Guyas. Arim from the corner. Yes, sir. Okay. And sometimes you question the acquisition of guys like O'Neill Arim to a team like Batangas, but Coach Solo Villanueva values guys like Arim who are very versatile, can play on both sides of the floor and knock down shots like that. I think uh, it was really uh, quite blown out of proportion because of the push, but I don't think there was any intention to hurt. Oh, oh, oh. Na walang lang ata sa balance yung depensa. And they've been going at it, no? Pagka shoot ni Paolo Valdi dito, may konting tinginan. Shoot si Arim dito ng three points. May konting senyas. Really not much into that. And <laughs> because you you know that these players know each other as well. Yeah, and you know, a lot of these guys are friends off the court. Means that na may mislead lang yung mga referees during the game when they when they go and, at each other and, like that. And to be fair also, referees 
ayo din naman nila na you know na you know, they want to control the game. Yeah, yeah, they, they're those. just trying to do their jobs as well. Number 19 only Larim. That's his first. What's the call going to be here? Unsportsmanlike like foul. Wow. <laughs> I did not expect that. That was all Paulo Ubalde, though. That yeah. was better than sorts of Paulo Ubalde. I mean, you, you come from a family that's really a proud basketball family, especially being the son of legendary Freddy Ubalde. I'm sure he has learned a lot from his father the way that he plays the game that's why he continues to play brilliant basketball he's a legend himself here in the mbbl milagrito gets it to ibanez osico's a jumper won't work tracked down by a rim here's a rim runs into paulo hobalde and he draws the charge paulo hobalde they continue the action, Hovalde and Arim. And I think Arim knew in the moment it happened. Check this out. Hovalde setting up his feet right there, absorbing the contact, not afraid to get hurt right there, drawing that offensive foul. Let's go to Andrea. Nakita na natin ang early addition ni Coach Cholo Villanueva na si RJ Ramirez in the preseason. Now he has one more and that's Chris Porter. Apparently, Chris has been recruited by a couple of teams in the MPBL but after seeing the culture of Batangas, he chose to play for this team. Although alam natin na Coach Cholo is someone who favors familiarity, he said Chris was a welcome addition. Kung matatandaan nyo, Coach Cholo himself said that his system is quite hard to grasp. But I guess it's different when the player is smart. True enough, sabi nga ni Coach Cholo, because of Chris's high basketball IQ, incorporating him to the system wasn't a problem. Dagdag pa niya, lalo na they are a team that needs more height and mobile bigs. Seems like Chris ticks all the boxes. Right to Delphin Happy. Thank you so much, uh, Andrea. One thing's for sure, baka hindi kami pwede doon. Levy Hernandez sings the three and uh, Chris Porter. A good addition to uh, Batangas, but that about Levy Hernandez. He's been there and he's continued to contribute para dito sa Batangas. Look at that backspin on that three-pointer. That three-point shot of the game is brought to you by Extreme One-Stop Shop Appliances. As we head into this timeout, Batangas ahead by nine. Back inside the Lonte Sports Arena. Uh, laban ng uh, Batangas and uh, Bulacan. Levy Hernandez last season. 12.9 points per game. 3.7 rebounds on uh, a little under 40% shooting uh, habits. It's very difficult to average double figures when, you have a low, when you're playing for a loaded team like uh, Batangas. But he has the license to shoot sa team na to. Uh, definitely. And, you know, it's him and John Valoria who share that responsibility, especially with Cedric Ablaza being out for the regular season, only coming in in the playoffs. So he, they really had to work double time, him and uh, John Valoria. Talk about Love Hernandez. The steal from Milagrito. And he gives it up to Paulo Hobalde, who's now up to nine points. Live quick ones from uh, Paulo. RJ Ramirez out of control that time. And uh, the turnover, Nino Ibanez. Hernandez pulls up. No, Apinan. Takes it out to Levy for three. No. Oh. 
Levy did it. Eh? I saw Levy. Parang walang legs yung tira niya. He usually doesn't miss twice, especially if you give him two straight wide open looks from the same area. And Darwin Lenore called for that offensive foul on the rebound play. Bulacan showing some signs of life here. And uh, they're being led by the Titos of the Bulacan Cuyas, Paulo Ubalde and Coach Hank Malegrito. Combined age joke. <laughs> ayok, ayok. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go into that. <laughs> so, Valde gets it to Nino Ibanez. Ibanez, dere derecho si Nino Ibanez. And what a response from Bulacan. A seven to nothing run. And what was once a nine point deficit is just down to two. When he goes down here, it's pretty hard to stop. I, uh, he really is so quick, especially after that hesitation move and the crossover. Uh, he's athletic as well. Paulo Hobalde last season averaging 12 points per ball game, eight assists and seven rebounds and uh, almost two steals as well. Right now, already at nine points, they're only in the first half. Asama Pandaluang assists and he can be anyone he wants to be. He can be a scorer or he can be a playmaker and uh, he can do both. To see Paulo Hobalde and what's impressive is that. You know, he seems to be getting, not getting any younger, but he doesn't seem to be slowing down at all. Battle for the rebound. Hernandez grabs the board. Chance to tie for Bulacan. Obalde to Ibanez. Inside Hernandez. Medyo I could have gotten it to Keno Sikos. I was a little bit of 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 a little Batangas. Pretty loaded in every position. Uh, you know, we're always used to seeing them having dependable players in every position. Ablasa gets the bump on Hernandez. And this is the concern of uh, Medoro last year, now with Bulacan. Christian Hernandez can't seem to stay on the floor. Especially at crunch time, kung kailangan kung saan kailangan na kailangan siya because uh, medyo matakaw sa foul. That's already number two on him. He really has to learn how to control himself when trying to protect the paint. Uh, there are some times that you just really have to let it go because if the offense already getting way past you and if you try to challenge, you're going to be giving up a foul. Good thing it's just his, his second foul. Yeah, Coach Butch Reyes will be pulling him out to avoid him getting his number three. Usually, ganun na nangyayari kay Kristan eh. Pagka foul yun ng isa, usually may kasulot agad yan. And, and sometimes, nasasayangan ako sa mga fouls niya. Because eh, iba touch foul lang, yeah. iba frustration foul lang. He, he has to keep his emotions in check. You know, that's something that as a young player he will learn as he goes through his career. Good thing this year he has someone like Loris Maliari na pwede niyo makapalitan sa pwesto na yan. Nasa penalty na Bulacan, so that will be free throws para kay De La Berhen. After that foul. On Ajero. MJ De La Berhen. Uh, 
Former JRU Heavy Bomber. Short on the first one. Coach Cholo Villanueva. He really has risen through the ranks with his Batangas team. After mainly being just a guy off the bench for Coach Cholo Villanueva, to, today he starts for Batanga City. In fact, he has been part of the starting line at numerous games last year. And again, these Batangas players are just really so smart. And the reason why Coach Cholo loves guys like Jexter Apinan on his squad is because these guys can handle the basketball, can bring it across, and leave their defenders with their speed. Apinan at the line, 35 to 32. Birthday greetings to Jason Torres ng Kalawag, Quezon. The birthday, sir. Ahero. Nearly traveled, turns the ball over. Apinan. Albanez with the steal. Banyes downhill he goes and he draws the foul. And check out the way he set himself up for that move going to the basket. Looked to the right, made the defense think that he was about to pass to the corner, and then made the shift going to the left, attacking the defense hard once again. Banyas really had a lot of responsibility in the Laguna na team na yun last year. No? And the, the difference this year, I, I think he was the most experienced player there. And, and this, dito naman, you, know, you got Paulo Hobalde who's, you know, who will lead this team and will you know, keep things under control. And Banyas is one of those players that medyo kailangan mo minsan ma remind na no, kailangan natin bagalan din minsan as uh, CJ Isit misses on the free on the, the free layup. And playing with Paolo Hubaldi, he will definitely learn that. He's checking him out the night. He's more aware of how to control the pace of the game. And not really just going one speed in each possession. He has the basketball. It's a missed three. Galike said Ablasa now Bulakan. With a chance. It seems the court's a little slippery. Yes, yes, actually. There's a concern from um, one of the coaches earlier. 35 to 34. Bola ng Batangas. Uh, 15 second game clock and shot clock differential. They love her head. Lonor, Ablasa, blocked by Maliari. Lawrence Maliari, some rim protection para dito sa Kuyas. And that's what he brings to the table. When Tristan Hernandez is out, you have a guy like Lawrence Maliari to protect the interior with those long arms. He has excellent timing and instincts in blocking those shots. Six to shoot here. Ablasa from the corner. No, De La Vergen, left-handed layup, wala pa rin. Lunor sa ilalim, tapped away. Oh, what a shot right there from Panisales. Bulacan with the lead to end the first half. Oh boy, what a sequence right there. I was going to say there's still a lot of miscommunication defensively para dito sa Bulacan, but two straight baskets para sa kanila, giving them the lead at the close of this first half. Paulo Hobalde, nine points and two assists. And he was the catalyst again para sa Bulacan to grab this one point advantage. Mark Andales giving them the lead at the final sequence of the first half. At the end, 
And this halftime score is brought to you by Game X. Bulacan 36, Matangas City 35.
halftime score dito sa Alonte Sports Arena. 36 to 35, lamang ang Bulacan Kuyas against the Batangas City Tanduay Ram Masters. And Batangas seemed like they were ready to blow the game wide open dun sa nangangalahating part ng ating second quarter. But the response from Bulacan has been terrific, led by Paolo Hobalde. Yeah, Batangas was ahead by as much as nine points in that first half. But Bulacan making a big run towards the end of that second quarter. Coach Akmalik Rito and Paolo Hobalde, you mentioned, uh, joining forces to give Bulacan a one-point lead. Check out the stats here. A big reason why Batanga City was not able to hold on to that lead is because of that percentage from the line, missing six free throws out of the 12 that they had and giving up 14 inside points to uh, Bulacan despite forcing 10 turnovers in the first two quarters. I said Ablasa leading the way, nine points for uh, the forward of uh, Batanga City. Paulo Hobalde and Nino Ibanez uh, sharing scoring honors. And uh, Hobalde, though, will start the third on the bench. Uh, Joshua Montero, Lawrence Maliari, Mark Andales, Ken Osikos will begin the half. Montero stepped on the line, out of control there, Joshua Montero. A good hard drive, just unaware that he was already running out of real estate. Not really the way he wanted to start the second half, but let's see how they make it on their first defensive possession here. And JC Carandang completing the five for Bulacan, Asuncion, Ablasa, Apinan, De La Vergen. And Ochea, ang lima para sa Matangas. Almost the same, actually the same starting five on the floor to begin for Batangas as they began this game. JC has a shot getting a lot of playing time here in this first game of the season for Batangas. Montero whistled for the foul against De La Vergen. Two for That's two quick fouls already to begin this third quarter for Bulacan. Shot long at 14 seconds. Napinan. A miscommunication with uh, De La Vergen. You don't see that often with Batangas, especially from guys like Apinan and De La Viren who have been playing together for quite some time already for Coach Solo Villanueva. Montero. Mark Andales. Crossover. Attacks and finishes against Seda Blaza. Boy, that was quite a tough move. Coming from Mark Andales, started it off with a crossover, got a blaza on his hip, and made it work with a tough angle. And wow, an offensive foul forced by Andales as well. Ganda ng tapos niya ng uh, first half. Eh. Yung lang uh, siningit siya ni Coach Bud sa lineup dun sa dulo ng first half. And nakashoot siya to beat the buzzer. And now, here he is, oozing confidence. And he's rewarded, he's repaying that thrust given to him by Coach Buds. And uh, he's oozing with confidence right now. Montero. Karandang. Medyo masikip. Osikos, corner three, and he knocks it down. Well, now we're seeing the result of the early practice time and the time together for this Bulacan Cuyas. 41 to 35. Biggest lead para dito sa Bulacan. Karandang all the way. Wala. Ochea with a rebound. And they gave up the foul on Ochea. Andales with the move right here. You really has to stay strong and focus. Uh, you figure this lucky fan of the game brought to you by Puentes. Ooh, hoo, hoo. this is big. 
That's already the fourth team foul on Bulacan. We just passed the two minute mark of this third quarter. Asunsun, Nitis ang kanyang tres. Ochea gets the tap and scores on the left handed hook. Karandang. Pressure here from Batangas. Montero quickly to Andales. Asunsun, nakabatay sa kanya. Osikos fires and hits. There's a two pointer. Stepped on the line. Apinanog, the rejection from Lawrence Maliari. Yeah, Maliari already with two blocked shots in this game. That's his third, by the way. Check this out. Despite the length of Dexter Apinan, Lawrence Maliari's long himself. They get the stop again. Andales makes his move. Another. He's been terrific since he came on, Javi. Magic Hugot para kay Coach Buds Reyes. Fearless in attacking the basket. He's not settling for outside shots. And as an added bonus, he is also making plays on the defensive side. He forced an offensive foul a couple of possessions ago. The thing with Bulacan right now that they're not doing well is they're giving up fouls. They're already in the penalty with still 6 and 52 to go here in the third. But no doubt about it, the Kuyas are playing with a lot of force, Abby. Definitely. And yeah. yun yung problem, yun yung problem because they're playing with a lot of force, a lot of intensity. And the, 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 the negative done is that they get called for a lot of fouls. Same thing that happened with uh, Mutin Lupa earlier in our second game. But, you know, Coach Buds Reyes, you love the emotion that you're seeing from him on that sideline always very passionate and it, it it's been rubbing off on his players everybody who's on the floor really looking to leave it all out yeah, Blasa two for two 11 points in the ball game Batangas down by six and Dallas with uh, six points in the ball game Montero. They're doing it without Nino Ibanez and Paulo Obalde, the Puyas. Osikos, that's off. And Dallas could not save that one. A little bit of a heat check right there for Osikos. There was a hand in his face. Dexter Lapinan really defended that shot well. That prompts the substitution for Coach Reyes to bring in his big guns. Ending talaga, you know? yeah, what more can you ask for from that bench? Binigyan ka ng uh, quality minutes. Uh, because this was a one-point lead for Bulacan. And, you know, pagpasok ni Paolo Valde with six and a half minutes remaining and up by six, then you got to be happy for Coach Bud. And it's a good sign because now you give these guys confidence na that they can respond in these types of situations. It was a test for them and they responded well. No, Levy Hernandez had to adjust in mid-air just to make that shot. And there was an uh, eight points. So, Balde! <laughs> Paulo Balde! Zuma a bit. That si is Beren. vintage Paulo Balde for you ever since that move has been popularized. Paulo Balde has been making a lot of plays from that. Of the game brought to you by Buenas, nothing but net. Para kay Paulo Hubalde. It's just really simple for him. He knew that he had the height advantage over MJ De La Virgen right away, went to the block, asked for the basketball. Well, that's a hard collision between Apinan and Baltasar. Good the show of sportsmanship there between the two players. You just love watching Dexter Apinan. Right not be 
the most glamorous player but uh, because of his frame you think na ang lambot niya pero yun eh tigas niya and he always goes for those hard drives and for the defense you know he's always gonna go left he doesn't have much of a right side but still he makes plays happen going to the left yung uh, alam mo na sa kaliwa dadaan pero hindi mo pa rin mapigilan and yes, it's happening to JJ Redick. No? He, he scout these players, but great players will always make a way with the same type of plays. Dexter Apinan. Two for two. There's a lot of pressure here from Batangas. As they are down by four. Mulakan already over the limit. Kanina pa. Ubalde against Ochea. Paolo gets into the lane. Osikos. Baltasar. Jumper. Wala. So Mabit to Osikos. And this is where the maturity of Bulacan comes into play. A defense stepping up. The intensity piling on for Batangas. That sense of urgency coming along. Forcing Bulacan into a tough shot. I guess at the start, you had guys like Adales just breaking down the defense and attacking really inside. Okay, at the line. Walang puntos na. Dito unti-unti nakakahabol ang Batangas. Bulacan going into the penalty early. Two for two para kay Don Ochea. They've been making good on their free throws. They haven't missed yet here in the third quarter after going six out of 12 in the first half. Steal by De La Verhen. Ochea, he will score and we are tied. That's Batangas basketball for you. Pressure defense leading to a steal and a score. Paulo Balde once again using his veteran sports to draw a foul. There's the steal by De La Virgen, forcing it against Ibanez, who did not have help bringing that ball in the backcourt, leading to the basket by Don Ochea. Masikos. That's it to Paolo Robalde. Ochea, nakabantay sa kanya. Tanchoco is back in the game. Paolo pulls up. That's short. De La Virgen ahead to Levy. Hernandez, Dere Derecho, and Batangas has regained the lead. Ten points for Levy Hernandez, second player in double figures for Batangas. And there's not much choice here for Bulacan as they are already over the limit. Yeah. Levy Hernandez uh, going there and fighting through the space right there. Against the defense of the Bulacan Puyas, manufacturing a basket to get the back to lead. still watching the MPPL. At the half, of course, Coach Sholo Villanueva wasn't happy with the performance of his team. They were not defending like they used to. They're not making their shots and if, if you look at their assist, medyo andun daw yung selfishness. Kaya naman, they really have to work on these to be back on track. On the other hand, Coach Bodzereas naman is happy about the fact that his boys are capable of keeping up with their opponents. For the second half, if you guys noticed, he gave his main men enough time to rest dahil ngayon daw, they have the luxury na to do so. Sabi niya, as long as we keep it close and not let Batangas gain momentum, we can cap this with a win. Back to you guys. Thank you, Andrea. And, uh, Bulacan growing in confidence, but momentum has won to uh, Batangas at the moment. 49 to 47. Shot long at 21 seconds. 
4.49 remaining. Ibanez having trouble. Ubalde. And Shokoni. Ibanez. Melike Paulo Ubalde. Ubalde will drive. That's a difficult possession para sa Bulacan with that Batangas defense. The adjustment of Coach Solo Villanueva here. He's putting Don Ochea on Paulo Hubalde. Ochea has the speed to match up with Hubalde, keep in step with him, and also the height, making it hard for Paulo to make plays. Levi Hernandez, professional scorer, number 12 points now. And definitely uh, four points here in the last few possessions. The denial by Ochea. And Shoko misses on the three. De La Vergen. Ochea. Umatake. Too strong. Bagsaksi Hernandez. And there's a foul going against Andwai. Batanga City. The uh, difference dito, Avi, you know, Karina, there's a lot of options for Bulacan. and they were able to move that ball. Ngayon, isang pasa lang. Uh, defense has really intensified here for Batangas City. I don't think Coach Solo Villanueva was satisfied with the way they were playing that side of the basketball at the start of the third quarter. This is very much to his liking, the way they're defending right now at this, as they force another turnover. The trapping is on point. They're forcing Bulacan into those tight spots. And they're reading the passing lanes very well. Stacy Carandang has returned to the ball game. Ablasa. Levi Hernandez. Attacks. Wala. Ubalde on the move. And Shoko. Lumapit, Ibanez, corner three. Wala. Ochea, nakuha yung rebound. Hernandez, inside they go. Ablasa, easy two. Oh, Karandang caught ball watching on that play. Didn't realize that Ablasa was already getting past him on the other side. Balde, the kick out, Tan Shoko, no. Offensive rebound, Napota kay Hernandez. Tan Shoko thought about it. Nabas muna kay uh, Ubalde. Ubalde makes this move. And Karandang uh, banks it in. And that's a big shot right there by Karandang to be able to. Uh, Stop the run by Batangas, but Hernandez continues to hit here for Batangas City. He has really been the key piece in this third quarter attack. Another steal, and CJ Isit easy to. Bulacan Cuyas forced it to their second timeout. Dito sa ating, uh, Third quarter, this fast break of the game is brought to you by New Star Max. Win to the max. Still completed by CJ Isip. And uh, Mangas now up by seven. They have a time. Presenting our Suzuki muscular and sporty fan of the game. Just like the Avenis, do more and achieve more with the muscular and sporty scooter from Suzuki. The Avenis. Oras na para magmotor. And uh, Navi, this is now a 16-3 run. 
by uh, Batangas in the last uh, four minutes ng ating laro. It's because of the defense and the scoring of Levy Hernandez. Bulacan has been having trouble getting into their offense. You mentioned earlier a lot of one and done possessions and not really much ball movement. A lot of rushed shots. They're getting late into their shot clock because of the trapping defense of Coach Cholo Villanueva's squad. And now fresh legs on the floor for this Batangas team. Ubalde triple team forced that one. Arim with a rebound. Here's Importante. Carandang going for the steal. Diving for that loose ball. Ubalde completes the defensive stop. Paulo, that's a tough shot. And he goes down on one of our A boards. Andales. And that really is cup of tea, that outside shot. He'd rather have Mark Andales attacking the ring than taking those shots from the outside. Importante. Nabatay ni Karandang. Porter. Arim. Five to shoot. Porter getting position underneath and Chris Porter finishes. It's an 18-3 run here in the third for Batangas. Uh, Chris Porter has only missed once in this game. He's perfect from two-point country. His only miss came from that three-point attempt that he had in the first half, but everything else has been money. Good roll to the basket. Great catch for those two points. I also said that one of the big problems for Bulacan is they gave up a lot of free throws here in the third quarter because of the early penalty situation that they went in. And that is missing. to 51 34 seconds remaining easy CJ that's a turnover definitely a tough pass to make right there I, he had more options on the right side but had his eyes focused on that left corner to RJ Ramirez RJ Ramirez mentioned malalim din siya dun eh the baseline that's a corner. And credit the ball denial as well from his defender. Montero to Hubalde. Clock down to eight. Hubalde makes his move. Nice fake. Paulo shot it over the board. Now he wanted a whistle. He thought he was bumped. At not really much force to merit a personal foul against Batangas. And uh, the Batangas City and the Y Rum Masters unleashing an 18 to 4 run to close out the third quarter. Just when it looked like everything was going in for the Bulacan Cuyas. And all of a sudden, the Rum Masters turning up the defensive screws. Easy baskets courtesy of Don Ochea. And uh, Levy Hernandez also taking charge in the period. And the Rum Masters all of a sudden now have an eight point lead against the Bulacan Cuyas. This end of third quarter score is brought to you by Game X.
Tanga City, Tandwai Rum Masters, newest kid on the block, Chris Porter. And he's contributing sa kanyang unang laro for Batanga City. Doing well, uh, Javi, and uh, contributing on both ends of the floor. A very efficient as well. And he's doing his job setting those solid screens, whether it be on ball or for the off ball actions. He's been uh, very valuable para kay Coach Solo Villanueva. Whoa. And just as we were talking about his screen setting, he commits not, an offensive not, foul. Not every screen is an offensive foul. <laughs> I, I thought he had established position yeah, there. Yeah, I didn't think that there was any movement. He's been setting his screens the same way throughout the game. Oh, eh, may mas ibang pick pa na mas mahirap dun eh. Oh, tingnan natin na quarter scoring Batangas winning the third, and that has been the difference, 25 to 15. Montero from the corner, no, gets his own miss, Karandang. Lumapit, and he banks it in. Uh, he might just be that spark plug here for Bulacan that could ignite a run para sa kanila kumpunan. Somebody's got to do it outside of Paolo Hubalde. 59 to 53. No down low to Porter against Maliari. Porter is a double team. He sit from the corner. Short on the three. Hubalde with the rebound. And Dallas is ahead. And Dallas will attack. Offensive foul. Not so sure about that. They didn't really see that offhand warding off, but th let's take a look at the replay to be sure. Okay, and Dallas goes up. Uh, not so sure about that. I don't think that was enough for an offensive foul. I don't know what Andales can do there to avoid the yeah. He, he was already there. <laughs> there. There wasn't any extension of the left arm. Well, Coach Buds could have challenged, but he opts to save it for later. Montero in a foot race with Importante, and he scores. At least for Bulacan, they get the stop quickly on the other side and get a basket. It's a four-point lead. Ramirez, jumper, no. Maliari with a rebound. Bulacan seems to have recovered their bearings here. Karandang for three. That's good. And that's the key for Bulacan. They have to be unpredictable because in that third quarter, towards that latter end, they were starting to get predictable. It was all Paolo Balde, Batangas really clapping down on him, but now Mark Arandang showing out. Three-point shot brought to you by Extreme One-Stop Shop Appliances, JC Carandang trims the gap to just a single point. Time out for the time. Papanood yung MPBL on MPTV Signal Channel 98. And on 1PH, uh, syempre, nasa Facebook and uh, YouTube din tayo. And, uh, families uh, enjoying the games here in uh, Binyan, Laguna. Mukhang uh, walang trabaho bukas. Okay na? <laughs> Kasi, or flexi time. Ay, holiday rin naman today. Holiday rin naman today. So, uh, 59 to 58. One point game. Levy Hernandez. Short on the three. Now Bulacan with a chance to retake the lead. I think that was too quick of a shot after a timeout for Batangas. Oh, man. Paolo Valde. 
There were instances na parang pinipilit na ni Paolo, but seems to have settled down once again, and he likes this matchup with Porter. They switched out on him, talking about Chris Porter and Ubalde. Once Porter attacked, closed out on him, that's that was the sign para sa kanya to go inside and attack the defense. And he, because he was faster, definitely got the advantage plus the foul. 13 points para kay Paolo Obalde. He completes the three-point play. Bulacan are uh, back in the lead. Well, it doesn't seem the, for Paolo Obalde to be a guy to play that kind of way for a long stretch. He realized he was making some mistakes. Tried to settle down a bit, involving his other teammates. And now, the team back in the driver's seat. And uh, early season trend po natin. Three ball. Galing kay Paolo Hobalde. You know, we're having uh, a lot of upsets to begin our first week. Remember, Bapaga lost yesterday. Paranaque also got a big win over the much favored Manila Stars yesterday. And Batangas is a team that's highly, always highly favored in the South. So if Bulacan wins this, definitely it's going to be an upset. Karandang feeling it. Wala. Rebound goes to Andales. Iniwasan ang depensa ni Porter. Just could not get the roll. And that would have brought the house down for that Bulacan bench. That small crowd that they have behind their sideline. Ablasa. Short on the three. And Nobalde says, uh, wait lang. Calma muna. Well, Batangas is now rushing their shots early in their shot clock, and it's not like they're being pressured into those shots. They have a lot of time to get better opportunities. I don't understand why there's a need to rush it. There's still a lot of time, and it's just a three-point lead. Now Montero also forced that one. Hernandez. Ooh. Mintis sa kanyang layup. I thought he was hit, but uh, I don't think that should have been a call as well. Ooh. Travel. Such a frenetic pace they're playing right now, Abby. Oh, everybody being caught with their nerves right now. <laughs> this last good. stretch, yeah. good. Then si Andales, si Karandang, and minalik muna si Gojak Meligrito. And Tanshoko, si Osikos, binalik din. This is Meligrito's first uh, action in the second half. He, he was key in Bulacan taking the lead towards the latter part of the first half. So let's see how he can contribute here. 13-2 in the in the quarter for Bulacan. The scoring, Ochea, Levy. Oh, tough finish. When they're patient, when they're moving that basketball, good things happen for Batanga City. I actually thought Ochea already had a shot underneath the basket, still decided to pass it out. To Levy Hernandez, who was Ax. Oh, showing us the hang time move there. Levy Hernandez and the flex as well. That's always the problem when yung atake galing sa loob and ang kick out papunta sa shooter like Levy Hernandez because wala na nasa kanya na yung advantage pagkahawak na yung bola. Yeah, that's correct because he forced the defense into a scramble. Now the key for the defensive team is to be able to communicate well and tell your teammates that there's a kick out and now you have to establish the help side defense because there's a big chance that the close the guy closing out will be blown by. Naga wants a rebound, ends up with a plaza. They're tied at 64. Ramirez uses the up and end pick. A plaza sa ilalim and Ochea. Mawi agad, itong Batanga City, 13 points para kay Don Ochea. A great back-to-back -back possessions for Batanga City, moving the ball around and getting good results in return. Elegrito gets the offensive rebound, Ochea again on Obalde. Hernandez sa ilalim. The foul whistled against Hernandez. They called an offensive foul 
as he was trying to go for that reverse, the offhand warding off the defense. Let's take a look at that again. Here he's powering through against uh, si Zetric Blaza. There you go. Oh, a hit on the neck. Si Milagrito gusto pa sumali. Pero pito na. At Milagrito getting a breather. Balik na si Maliari and uh, Baltasar. And no, no sign of Nino Ibanez here in the second half. Ramirez. Hernandez for three. Short. Osikos secures the rebound. Uh, I wonder how long Coach Buds is going to keep Ibanez on that bench. Ubalde could not finish. But the tenth rebound of said Ablasa. Magsaksi uh, Usikos. There was contact on the reach, but it seems that there was a elbow, or I think the shoulder hit the face. Uh, Keno Sikos after that. There, there was the foul. There, there, there's a, there's a lot of contact on the reach. And then the hit by Ablaza flooring and don't see uh, Keno Sikos. Talaga si Seth. Yun lang yun. Sometimes it's just really that. You know, oh. not, not really much explanation. Uh, referees will be reviewing it to see if there is still any penalties to be meted. Sixty-six to sixty-four. And uh, Bulacan has done a terrific job staying in the coattails of uh, the Rum Masters and also getting um, the lead as well. Uh, and uh, let's take a, this chance to uh, greet some of our friends watching. Roy Kayanan uh, and uh, Billy Ray Robles. Uh, um, sa finals. Ramirez on the move and he scores. RJ Ramirez, always an X factor for any team that he plays for because of the energy that he brings to the floor and <laughs> gets it to a scuffle here. Oh, look at Joshua Montero standing up to Cedric Ablaza. There are technicals being thrown here by the referees. This is a hard-fought contest. Yeah, you, you know what, Sidel, for, for us fans, I, I, you, you got to be happy with the passion being shown by the players. Oh, it shows that they they, they care, and this yeah. matters to them. They're out to win every single game. This is just their first game of the season, and this sets a precedent for all the remaining games. This was the score by Ramirez, and then after Montero and RJ, that, that's, there's RJ committing the foul. And then they're locking arms with each other. Ablaza trying to pull Montero and Ramirez away from each other. And then Montero taking offense to it. <laughs> yeah, I like how uh, Montero is uh, standing up for himself. Yeah. David versus Goliath, actually. All of his five foot uh, six, five foot seven frame. I don't even think uh, said Ablaza said something. I think it was really RJ Ramirez who uh, made Joshua Montero angry on that play. So, you know, I think the, this this identity of Bulacan uh, is truly um, turning turning around. You know? na yung from last season which they were you know, they lost a lot of games, especially in the tail end of the season. And now, you know, palaban sila, especially against a team like Batangas. Parang sobrang uh, iba. And, uh, you know, 
something good is happening on this team. You know, you think that when you look at their roster, it might not really be a squad that you can say that will contend and may not may not even make the playoffs. But with the way that they're playing here in their first game, and they're really looking that they are serious about this season and they are out to win as many games as they can. You know, for them, it's just a matter of keeping it close until the very end. Give themselves a chance. And for them to show this kind of passion and bravery against a team like Batangas, it, it really will bode well for Coach Bud Reyes and his squad. Piled under. Foul <laughs> on number zero. Abby's. Hot takes. I will stand by that. So, I don't know. 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 I don't technical free throw because it's said of Laza and Ramirez called for two uh, technical each and Montero getting one himself Ramirez and Montero canceling out but the technical on of Laza will give one free throw to Bulacan <laughs> odd man out and then sila na nadali talaga and the lucky thing for the Cuyas is they will keep possession here because 18 points para kay Paolo Holbalde leading all scorers in this ball game. Nakapagpahingan na rin yung ibang players dyan ng uh, Bulacan. No? Karandang, you expect him to return later, a little bit later. Still, no Nino Ibanez on the floor for Bulacan. And yeah, some discussion here. I'm thinking if they're trying to check the clock if it's right. Uh, 68 to 65, ang ating uh, score ngayon. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, there should be two more free throws because well, Tangas is already in the penalty. There was the initial foul on RJ Ramirez. on that reach against Joshua Montero. Uh, good for our referees to make sure that the right thing was uh, made here. And uh, Mintis, the first free throw of uh, Joshua Montero. Still a one-possession game. Credit to our referees for Making sure that they make the right call. Montero for three. Wala. Arriba ni RJ Ramirez. And what an opportunity wasted there by the Kuyas. Here comes RJ. Ablasa down the middle. Hernandez on the kick out. Ball away. Wala. And the tap. Ball will go back to Bulacan. Then ang pinapakita depensa ng uh, Bulacan doon sa sequence na yun, Javi. Scrambling and the closing out. They really needed that stop and time winding down here. A good opportunity for them to maybe tie the game or get to within one. Zumbalde gets it to Osikos. Paolo gets it back. Fade away. No. And his long rebound, Ablasa leaking out, and uh, he scores on the layup. That's the problem when you try to uh, fish for a foul. Maliari wasn't able to run back down. 
and stop a Blaza on that fast break for Batangas. Now five point lead for the Rum, the Rum, the Rum Masters. 21 16 assist count for Batangas. Maliari's got to play through that contact. If he doesn't hear the whistle, he has to just stay strong with that basketball. Now, Nino Ibanez has been called up from the bench. A Blaza. Big possession for Batangas. Shot clock winding down. Ramirez misses. And it's a 24 second violation. So back to back good defensive possessions right there for Bulacan. And that's been keep, what's been keeping them in this ball game. Yeah, sila dumidikit. When they need a stop, they seem to be getting one. That's the difference with this team compared to last year's Mendoro squad that they had. You know, they relied a lot on their talent. They had good guards like AJ Miranda and of course Paolo Hobalde to really get them through the game, get them close. But the defense is much better for this Bulacan team and there's much more physicality. And we mentioned the bravery and the passion as well. It's right there for the Kuyas. Last two minutes brought to you by Game X. Ochea puts it back in. He's been a silent assassin para dito. It's a Batanga City, Tandwai Rum Masters, Don Ochea. We've seen uh, Santa Plaza. Levy Hernandez getting the plaudits, but Don Ochea doing uh, the damage late in the game. 72 to 65, we have a timeout. Bosses here in the MPPL, Commissioner Kenneth Duremdez, uh, Joe Ramos, Emer Oreta, Seth Amora, and uh, Uri Distrito on hand uh, for this matchup between Batangas and Bulacan. 72 to 65 with under two minutes remaining. That was the last timeout for Bulacan, Javi. Batangas still has two. Both teams already over the limit. Let's see how Bulacan can get through this game without any timeouts. A three possession ball game still, and they are already over the limit. They're gonna have to knock down shots here. Defense has been right there, but they haven't been able to take advantage of their free throws, and they haven't been able to score on their half court sets the past three possessions. Nagarandang has not returned. It was doing well earlier. 36 inside points for Batangas, 22 lang for Bulacan. Obalde with 10 to shoot. They need a bucket here. Baltasar, Ibanez for three. No. Ablaza, Binigeke, RJ Ramirez. That's the stop Batangas needed. Uh, miscommunication on who would go up and receive that basketball. Not good spacing by Osikos and Baltazar. And Blaza drawing the foul. Pupotasha Salinia for two free throws. And that's experience right now playing out here para sa Batanga City. They're taking advantage of this Bulacan team that is falling apart here in the final minutes. Looks like they will be reviewing this. It seems that uh, Ramirez got onto Montero away from the play. 
And that's why Joshua was down when that play happened. And that's why Coach Budge was approaching the half-court line, trying to give a piece of his mind to RJ Ramirez. So, said the Blasa was to will be taking free throws, two free throws, but we're still checking our mga game officials. Bulacan team has battled hard. RJ Ramirez, if he gets teed up here, that's going to be it for him, and he's going to be facing a suspension for their next game. RJ Ramirez. But he also has been key in Batangas regaining control here in the fourth quarter, making some stops and knocking down baskets. That's his second. Yeah, Baltasar, uh, that's confirmation of the foul. foul uh, number zero, RJ Ramirez. Combining with a technical foul earlier, RJ Ramirez is out of the playing court. Uh, RJ Ramirez, that's it for him. Take a look at what happened though. He was here handling the basketball. And he gives it up to Ablasa. There was a close fist. Quite a late reaction, you know, but but well, if, if actually Nakita Yun Agad, that play with uh, with Ablasa wouldn't have happened as yeah. well. Uh, said and and on the other end, I think Montero will get two free throws and uh, possession para dito sa Bulacan. That's so, correct. The crucial free throws here for Ablaza. This is the second. He makes the second. Meron na siyang 18 points to go with his 11 rebounds. That was actually their first miss of the second half of the free throw line. Yung kay said Ablaza, that first free throw after they missed six in the first two quarters. They missed both earlier. Now, so kang una para kay uh, Montero. A lot can still happen here, Javi. Oh, definitely. This is far from over. But uh, the tough thing for Bulacan is they don't have any timeouts to utilize. So every opportunity they get, they have to be able to take advantage of it. Two one. free throws knocked down by Montero and uh, ball possession for them. A three-pointer or a two-point shot, whatever they can convert, they're going to have to take it. Minute and, minute and 15 left in the ball game. Tubalde lost it to Don Ochea, who's been terrific in this ball game. Boy, of all people to give up that basketball for Bulacan, you did not expect it to be Paolo Valde, but what about Ken Osiko's hard show right there on top on CJ Isit, forcing Isit to mishandle the rock and go into that backcourt violation. 73 to 67. Zakuyas still alive. Ibanez out to Hubalde. Blocked by Hernandez, gets it back, forced that one. And uh, Seda Blaza coming up with a defensive stop. Apinan. Hernandez fighting from four position against Ibanez. Here he comes. Levy will lay it in. Uh, that's just too easy. For Levy Hernandez, he's had his way attacking the paint here in the fourth quarter. Quick jab or a quick step coming from the outside and a couple of dribbles has always resulted in two points inside the shaded area. Well, Levy Hernandez up to 19 points. 
Tanshoko. Paolo Hobalde. Replaced by Tanshoko. And uh, uh, mga fans ng Tanduay, uh, uh, Batangas City, Tanduay Ram Masters, si, uh, led by uh, Mac Mac Garcia. I'm sure uh, tuwan-tuwa na sila. As uh, they close in on this victory, this free throw is brought to you by Shea Appliances and Subok at Completo Appliance brand ng Pilipinas. Uh, Siyempre, winabati din natin, uh, Mayor Beverly Rose uh, Dimacua, Congressman Marvy Marino, Vice Mayor Eliza Cruz, ABC President Angelito Dimacua, and uh, sa lahat ng mga Batanggenyo na sumubaybay sa MPBL game ng kanilang uh, kuponan. They will chalk up their first win of the season. And uh, one thing's for sure, though, ang nakita natin sa Bulacan, mukhang maraming papahirapan na team ang kumpunan ni Coach Padres. And, you know, this is not going to be an easy season for any team in the league. Every squad will be in it for a, a fight in every match of this regular season with all the teams really beefing up with their rosters. Uh, we love what we're seeing so far in the first few games of the season. Maybe safe for that Demos game earlier. And I'm sure they will be improving as they progress. Of course, Coach Junda was uh, just a few days into his head coaching stint with that squad. But all the other teams have been showing a lot of promise. Ibanez for three. Voila, Montero put back. No, and that will do it. A uh, hard-fought battle comes to an end. And Batanga City, Tanduay Rum Masters earning this one the hard way against uh, the Bulacan Puyas, who was uh, really showed a lot of improvement from last season. And uh, yeah, no, it is not going to be easy for everyone in the league. And uh, with that performance of Bulacan, pwede mo na silang markahan sa mga teams natin dito. This final score is brought to you by uh, Game X, uh, 76 to 68. Ang final score natin with Batangas getting the W over Bulacan dito sa Alonte Sports Arena. Let's go to Andrea and Dijon. First of all, congratulations, Don. Alam kong marami kayong nagtulong-tulong para sa panalong ito, but uh, you exploded in that endgame. What pushed you to step up, lalo na sa latter part? Uh, ano, ayun, eh, sa simula kasi uh, yung opensa namin medyo off eh. Kaya pinabawi na lang namin sa defense eh, step by step. Nagagawa namin ng yung mga defensive schemes namin kaya nakabawi kami sa offense at nakakabalik kami little by little. At uh, doon, up and down nga itong larong ito, no? pero an ano ba yung mga adjustments? Ilang adjustments ba ang ginawa ninyo in-game? Ayun, eh, ayun nga sa'yo na sinabi ko na yung offense namin kanina out of rhythm. So sinimula namin yung pag-ikot muna ng bola, one to, one to three sides muna bago mag-atake mag para maka magkaroon ng open shots. Ayun, eh, nagagawa namin, nam namimake namin yung mga, yung mga offensive schemes namin, kaya yun, nakalayo naka kami ng konti. And that's how you got the win. Now, do you have any greetings or shout out? Ayun, uh, binabati ko po yung girlfriend ko si Patricia and my family sa Tacloban and uh, sa Kalifa na team, sila attorney to Libas and sa Batangas na supporters namin and sa Tanduayram. And sa, uh, yun nga. Thank you so much. Once again, that is Don Ochea, our Buenas player of the game. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, Andrea and... Uh... Our games tomorrow, uh, we will be at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in uh, San Juan Abra. Uh, coming off that big win uh, last Saturday, they take on Marikina at 4 p.m. At 6 p.m., it's the Zamboanga Master Sardines against the Bicolandia Oragons. And at 8 p.m., the Pasay Voyagers make their debut against the Negros Muscovados, who are also coming off a victory. So uh, that's it. For us here from the Alonte Sports Arena, for my partner, Javi Palaner, courtside reporter, Andrea Indicia, and all the men and women making up 
the MPBL and our production team. Maraming salamat po. This has been Sidaf Tupa saying goodnight from Binyan.